Hot diggity, we are here at the Toronto waterfront with Mary Beth Haynes talking about the power of pets and the amazing human-animal bond. As I was growing up, my parents taught us how to treat animals with, with what they need, give them what they need, and they would give back to us. And when a time came when our pets passed away, we actually all went as a family out to what we still call to this day our pet cemetery. And we went and we actually buried our pet. We said a prayer. We had an opportunity to be sad, but we also had an opportunity to celebrate their life. When a pet passes away, we don't have scars, we don't have stitches, but we do on the inside and that's not visible. And so when we can honor that and identify that, we can use that to know that it's okay to heal. I've written two books. The first one actually came out last year and the next one actually is coming out at Christmas time this year. The first one's titled The Power of Pets, Seven Effective Tools to Heal from Pet Loss. This book will help you heal from the grief and loss that you experience when your pet passes away. I found a really great publisher, Black Card Books, and what I loved about him was he was really on board with having this book become practical. It's actual tangible things that you can take and put into motion to be able to move forward from healing. And some tools that I like to share and I'm happy to share with you. Number one is recognizing that healing needs to take place. It's a very, very simple step, but one that we often don't do because of what life brings us. The second one is giving ourselves full permission to heal. The third one would be learning. Learning about what's going on inside the body. Why am I feeling these feelings of anger? Why am I feeling so guilty? Understanding that it's all part of the process to heal and some ways that you can actually empower yourself, which brings you to the fourth tool, which is actually called personal empowerment. Grief is like a snowflake. No one snowflake is the same. So as you are unique, so is everybody else. And so you'll heal in your own way. And by learning things that you can do to personally empower you forward that work for you is what's going to be really, really helpful. Receiving guidance is very important. No one should ever have to heal alone. And having somebody that understands, that will support you unconditionally and give you that support system that you need is really, really helpful. Taking action is absolutely crucial. If I do not get up to go walk to my car today, I won't take the steps of action to get there. I need to actually actively do something to be able to get home. And when it comes to healing, it's no different. It's taking those steps of action that will bring me forward. And then gifts of many. And it's recognizing the gifts that we share with our pets. It's recognizing the bond, the connection, the loyalty, and knowing that we take that with us. When I look at Nemo and the time that we spend together, he brings me gifts of love, gifts of loyalty, gifts of understanding. There's a, a different sense that they understand you on. They're there for you when you come in the door. They're there for you unconditionally. And that's what touches my heart so deeply. When we recognize those gifts, we can use them to honor our pets and actually heal in their memory. It's something they would want us to do. These are tools that are right at your disposal at any time as you build your own personal toolkit. With my books, I like to take the reader on a journey. We always start by going on a journey because that's what healing's all about. The second one that's coming out at Christmas is titled From Empty to Empowered, A Journey to Healing from Unexpected Pet Loss. We start out our journey in the eye of the storm because when we're healing from the loss, we're looking for answers, we're looking for guidance, and we're looking for directions. There are many free tools that come along with the book as well, and it doesn't end there. You actually are invited to join the I Believe in the Power of Pets movement, which is a global initiative of pet lovers worldwide. And you are given a virtual key, the lock is never changed, and you have a lifetime pass to it at any time.